Hey YouTube. So I've got a little project underway here. And this is an engineer's 7 inch vice. So basically I work for a tool distributor who used to be agents for Irmo who make this vice here. And I suppose a lot of people involved in the uh, automotive industry in Europe will know the name Irmo because they or produce professional quality tools for that industry. But uh, basically years ago, as I said, he used to be the agent for uh, Irmo. And somebody had returned these vices. And these vices come with a lifetime guarantee. So somebody had returned this. So I got a replacement for it. And it was basically dumped down the back of the stores. Because what was wrong was it had seized. So he no longer is agent for Irmo. And basically I came across this vice. And I was told that if I could get it working, I could have it. So I had a look, and it turned out that all it needed was on the main screw which runs through here, it runs through into a receiver in here, but also it has a fairly hefty spring up here which is kept in place by a pin which actually puts the pressure on the jaws to return. And uh, as it turns out, all that was wrong was the pin had got fouled up on the spring. Now the pin itself was knackered, it was worn, so it needed replacement. So basically, I got that done. And I have a 7 inch vice working again. Now, it still needs a bit of work. I'm going to, there's some welds on the top here if you can see. There, and on the anvil. I'm going to grind them back, sand them off, get it done, then I'm going to prime it. And I'm going to paint it. I have some similar colour here to the one that's on it. And then I'm going to mount it in place of the vice that I had already. Now in case you can't tell how big this actually is, let's have a look at the one that I had beforehand. That's a 4 inch vice. And this is a 7 inch vice. Quite a difference. And these vices, to buy one of these retail, you're talking, you're talking between four and five hundred euros. I got it for free. So I'm gonna sand these back. Then I'm gonna prime it, and then I'm gonna paint it, and then I'm gonna mount it in place of this one here. So that's what's next. So I'm going to grind off the weld, weld spots on this here now. <coughs> With a few here and some surface rust and stuff I'll probably take off while I have the angle grinder going. Um, once I've that done then it's on to primer and paint. And I'll probably give it a coat of lacquer as well. For your top coat just to harden it up. So. So all those high points on the the welds are gone. Let's see better from that angle. Nice clean surface. So now I've got to just make sure she's clean and dry, and then I can give her a coat of primer. So she's all clean. 
and ready for priming. I've taped off a few areas where I don't want to get any primer or paint, just on the jaws, the angle, the handle, chrome bits basically. And so now I'm going to give her a coat of surface primer, probably two coats actually. And when I have this done and that dries, I'll need to wind out the jaws and prime and paint inside here. But I'll do all this first. Just going to put some tape onto one little piece there that I forgot. Get back. Hey guys, so time for the last coat of paint here. <coughs> I'm just going to spray her up, then she'll get a coat of lacquer, and then she's ready for the bench. And so here's the finished article. So she's ready to rock and roll and bolted through the bench. Two coats of primer, two coats of paint and a coat of lacquer. Gave it a nice finish. Cleaned up all the weld marks, polished up the angle. And that's one seven inch vice. Ready for work again. <laughs>